Hi guys and welcome to part 11 of Angular with Firebase application tutorials. On the last part we configured material design and we created our first material button. On this part we are going to create Firebase database, enable Google authentication and import a sample database. So let's start by going to firebase.google.com and in here select the option go to console. Click add new project and let's name our project book notes. For the region I'm going with a default one but you can choose one from the list. Click the create project button and wait for the project to be created. After the project has been created you will be redirected to the overview for that project and you can navigate between projects on the button up here. So we created the Firebase project now let's go and configure the authentication for that go to the authentication option on the left and then you can either choose the option in here set up sign in method or go to the sign in method tab. We have said on the previous part that we are going to use Google authentication for our project so for that go to Google and in here select the enable button. After that save the changes. So we enabled Google Authentication, if you want you could enable other authentication options as well like Facebook, Twitter or GitHub. But for this project we are going to use Google Authentication so we are going to enable just that one. Now go to the database. On the database we have four tabs. Data. Here we are going to import our database but if you have an existing database you can export it by pressing in here Export Database as JSON file. The next tab is the rules tab and here we can define the rules to access our database. For the moment we see that we cannot read or write to our database without the user being authenticated. We are going to change this both for the moment to true which means that the users can interact with our database without being authenticated. We are going to change these values back when we implement authentication. The next tab in here is the backups and it is used to configure backups for our database. The last tab is the usage tab and you can use this one to get more info about the usage of your database. So let's go back to our data tab and we are going to use this tab to import our database. For that go here and press import json and select the json format file from your local storage. After the file has been uploaded import it. I'm going to provide a link on the description section so you can get the same database as well. If you expand the books in here you are going to see that for the moment we have only 6 books and these are the identifiers for each book. Expand one book and you are going to see in here the price, the rate or the title for that book. So we created the application, we configured the authentication, let's make sure that the rules are both to true. And if they are not too true then change them to true and press the publish button for the changes to be saved. So the rules were changed and at the end we imported our database. To interact with the data we are going to use the Angular Fire tool library and we are going to see on the next part how to configure it step by step. So guys this is all for this part. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.